Good morning, YouTube. It's uh, 5.08 in the morning. Uh, and today we have another fitness update. Uh, way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, are mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So, uh, what happened this week? Um, so on Sunday, I got into the gym and uh, did all my normal exercises. Um, so here these are real quick. Uh, I did an increase on my butterflies. Um, but everything else I kept uh, the same. I think though next week I'll increase my uh, quads and hamstring exercises I think it's time to uh, to get those up another set another five pounds uh, we'll see how that goes um, now here <sighs> we last week I had done maxes for for my uh, big three thousand pound club um, uh, deadlifts uh, bench press and squats and I uh, <laughs> Um, I had wanted to wait a month before doing maxes again, but um, Sunday night rolled around and I got done with my exercises and I thought, eh, let's, let's try for maxes again <laughs> because I knew my deadlift wasn't at max yet. Um, so I just did uh, maxes. Uh, I just did deadlift maxes. So um, those are, here are those numbers again. Um, so I got up to 245 uh, from 200, and as I was doing them, um, really the the thing that failed is my hand. I couldn't grip. Uh, so okay, so for deadlifts, um, I've been talking around to people. I'd done all my deadlifts uh, overhand like this, and I guess what I'm supposed to do um, is one of them is supposed to do underhand. And it's supposed to be my strong hand, which I don't understand. Because <laughs> uh, when I was doing it, when I failed at 245, I was trying to do 250, and I couldn't pull 250 because this hand, which is my weak hand, I'm left-handed. Um, my weak hand just it like these muscles failed, and I just I couldn't hold on to the bar anymore, and so I couldn't pull 250. That's why I'm reporting 245. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, well, I know, you know, some people do one hand underneath. It's got to be the weak hand, right? And asking around, nope, it's not the weak hand. It's it's the strong hand that goes under. So I don't know if I'm actually going to do that. But the other, um, the other piece of advice I've gotten is that you're supposed, if you smash the finger here with your thumb and while you're gripping the bar, then, you know, you're... you're that'll help <laughs> that'll help your grip because uh, they're like oh did you use chalk did you use gloves I'm like well the bar didn't slip out of my hand my fingers just won't stay holding it and they're like okay well just just press <laughs> press your finger with your thumb there just press it into the bar and that'll hold it for you so yeah <laughs> so I was trying that last night uh, do my 3 by 10s um, which are normally Wednesday nights, and that feels incredibly uncomfortable. I, I can do this one, I can smash my first finger in into the bar, but smashing my ring finger into the bar, that's... Anyway, so I'm working on the grip, and uh, hopefully if I, can, if I can strengthen my weak arm, I can hold on to the bar better, and maybe I can, you know, get higher than... Because it doesn't feel like it's affecting my back like I don't my back still feels like I could do more deadlifts it's just this hand just won't grip it so we'll see what happens there uh, and I think what I'll do is instead of you know doing all three all three exercises waiting a while and then trying to max all three again on Sunday nights what I might do is rotate through so this last Sunday I did deadlift max Next Sunday, I'll try for bench press max. Sunday after that, I'll try for bar squat max. 
take a week off, and then start the rotation again. So I am getting a month in between each one, and but I'm not going a whole month without doing some kind of max press, uh, which felt like because again I you know I got to that point in the in in my Sunday routine and I was just like, really I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to do max presses. So I, I wanted to do something. So. All right. So the next day I rolled around Monday uh, and I kept all of those exercises the same. Although I do feel like I could increase my bench press there, which is, which is a big thing. So when I do dumbbell bench presses, you know, it's, they're, they're dumbbells. So you don't have the bar. You just, you, and you're trying to stabilize two heavy weights between my hands um, and the 65s actually feel good so normally I'll wait uh, until the 3 by 10 you know if I can get through all 30 feeling good then I'll think about increasing the weight and uh, it's gotten to a point where the dumbbell bench presses feel like they could go up so I'm gonna try that I think uh, it's always it's always heat of the moment type decision and then last night, um, did I do any cr increases last night? I don't believe so. Oh, so actually there was a, oh, I did do an increase. Sorry, I'm looking at my book because I, I have to write everything down. Um, okay, so let me, let me talk about, um, so my forward shoulder exercises and my side exercises, because my grip is like this, um uh i i've been having issues with my with my wrist and trying to grip onto those heavy weights so what i did was i took several weeks off i think i took i took a whole month off where i didn't do those exercises again it's the the forward shoulder and the side the lateral shoulder the side shoulder actually i do the side shoulders both at the same time like i'm flying um and so I, I did a whole month of not doing any of them. And then last night, uh, I brought them back into the routine and I actually went down five pounds. So I'm starting them off at 25s um, and they felt pretty good. They didn't hurt at all. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, part of, part of the arm weakness might have been my wrist pain. Uh, and so I'll slowly build those up again and, and see how that works. Um, but everything else stayed the same until I got to uh, my 3 by 10 weights for um, uh, deadlift and bench press, uh, barbell bench press. Because, again, my maxes are so much higher, I've steadily increased those. Um, so the deadlifts at 140, those are feeling good. I'll probably go up again next week. Uh, my bench press at 140 is feeling like I'm topping out there. So I think I may slow down those increases. Um, and then I got to squat and squat at 185. I think next week I'll go up to 195. I think it is. Um, those, uh, I've been waiting a month before increasing. Uh, and I think I've stabilized there. Now I can try again. I, uh, maybe I'll go another week or another month at 185. I'm not sure. So um, there you have it. Today is yoga. And like I said, yogas are always nice. Uh, oh, Monday, dragon boating. Um, yeah, they killed us again. I, <laughs> I don't know what it is with that coach. Same coach as last week. And, I, you know, so they're... There's about a hundred or so of us in the club, and you know the club comprises um, some who are very competitive racers, um, some who are sort of amateur racers, and those of us that just don't care about racing. Like I, I really don't compare about. I don't care about competing. Um, but I kind of wonder if they're trying to to mold us into competitive racers, <laughs> um, which is fine. It's still a good workout, but you know. Uh, <laughs> I get tired. It's an hour of paddling, and uh, they give us, they let us rest, and we get newbies all the time, and so that you can't, you can't push the newbies that hard. So I usually sit in the newbie boat. We'll, we'll have several boats go out on the water. Uh, the competitive team will take a boat out, and you know, more power to them. Let them, let them go do their thing. 
and I will be in the newbie boat. I'll try and stay in the newbie boat. Um, you know, because again, I'm just there for the workout. I really don't care about competition. But lately, it's felt like they've been trying to get the newbie boat to to be competitive rated. <laughs> anyway, all right, uh, yoga today that'll feel good. Yoga on Tuesday was nice. A little break in the middle. Um, yeah, I I'm sore this week, <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll get through the weekend, recoup, and then on Sunday bring it all back again and maxes for bench press will be I'll try and figure that out so all right I gotta head off to work you gotta go do whatever it is you do uh, we'll talk to you next time <laughs>